Well, hello everyone. This is Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. And today is March 14th, 2018. We're on Hilton Head Island at the Hilton Head Resort, a location which is in walking distance to the beach, Mid Island, 663 William Hilton Parkway of Economy Condominiums. A total of 468 of them we're going to walk through this one here immediately to the right, number 3306, just listed with my company, Go Gated Realty, for $109,900. It is at the moment and will be when listed uh, the lowest priced two bedroom here at the resort, uh, where prices otherwise range from $115,900 up to $169. There's a total of $460 eight condominiums here at the Hilton Head Resort. Uh, 20 of them are three bedroom villas. The rest of the 468 are two bedrooms, A and B floor plans. This is a B. We can go into more details when you call. But we're located here on the third floor of building three, which is the indoor atrium building. The full name of this location is Hilton Head Resort Four Seasons Center. And this is the Four Seasons part of that, a completely covered indoor building that has an indoor track. This is a uh, exercise center down there with a few pieces of equipment. There's a heated indoor pool just in the distance there across the floor. And the building to the left there houses a steam room and a sauna and restrooms. There's also two outdoor swimming pools and six tennis courts, a restaurant, a deli, and you have direct walking access to the beach where there is also a cabana bar. Well, here we are, 3306 Hilton Head Resort. Let's take a look. This villa was an owner's residence until they moved to another part of the country and they kept the residence here on a rental basis where it is now. This is actually a tenant living here, a long-term tenant under the management of my company and now that the owner has successfully relocated out west they have decided to sell the villa it is sold furnished and the tenant who lives here um, let's see what they pay well I think they pay um, roughly about uh, nine hundred dollars a month I believe it is in rent and um, they'd like to stay, their lease continues, but we also have a vacate clause that allows you, the buyer, to ask them to leave and take over the usage for yourself. But let's talk about some of the details of the villa itself. Uh, some distinctions here. Uh, black cabinets are not the original. This was the owner's choice when they were here to renovate with these black <coughs> cabinets. We also have a butcher block top, which is a real wood. And the mosaic backsplash gives a contemporary touch to this kitchen. Stainless steel sink with the modern faucet with the rinsing tool. Quiet dishwasher there, the Whirlpool brand ceramic range top microwave this is what's called the B floor plan the B floor plan has the recessed front door and with this floor plan with the bedrooms side to side at the back the A floor plan has the private balcony off the back they typically do cost more but not everybody uh, wants to pay up for that and you may notice that this villa has a uh, tiled floor, which is in perfect condition. I haven't seen any cracks or chips anywhere whatsoever. And that means low maintenance over time. 
you don't have to come in with your flooring which is a big expense. The villa is nicely painted in very good condition. The tenants are excellent so anyone buying for cash flow can step right into a situation where we have a long-term tenant that um, will continue on until you're ready to use it yourself if at all. Now this owner also replaced the doors with panel doors. The standard issue are flat doors, at least they replaced some of them, or this one. Notice how the tile flows right on down into the second bedroom, which is straight ahead, and into the master bedroom to the right. Fully tiled floor. Again, over here we have replaced the vanity. We'll see this in the master bedroom as well. This is the hallway um, bathroom, fiberglass tub, tub and shower. framed mirror. Everything is in good condition in this villa and it really is at the low price what you would expect to be a fixer-upper but it's really not. Second bedroom the tenant is not using. It's just a uh, it's just a room I guess you could say <laughs> but most people like two bedrooms set it up with twin beds and get the maximum amount of usage out of it. Now the tenant who lives here, they have placed their mattress on the floor and they keep their bedroom dark, so we'll just leave it that way for the purpose of this video. But it just shows you clearly how the tile comes all the way through. Uh, there is no bed frame. The mattress uh, in what's here is included. There is no bed frame. That has been discarded. All the other furniture you see comes with the villa. And then this is the master bedroom which has the private bath. Again, the, the vanities have been replaced. The tile floor is excellent. Behind the door to the left is a fiberglass tub and shower. The colors are soft. They're fresh. But you can always change them if you like. These villas are easy to show because, again, they're only 831 square feet. Let's go out and see some of the resort. And I'll tell you more about it as we go. I call it a resort because the name is the Hilton Head Resort. And the uh, owners here definitely um, pride themselves on having a vacation rental location which is the, the, the distinction about this Hilton Head Resort is that it is the lowest priced bed lowest priced location of condominiums two and three bedrooms within walking distance to the beach on the island you have the two outdoor pools and the indoor pool the six tennis courts you have elevators between the buildings and stairwells on every corner. There's one of our ele elevators. You have laundries between the buildings on every other floor. Coin-operated laundries. Now the three bedrooms do have the piggyback washers and dryers. And there is one floor plan. I call it a deluxe two bedroom. It's slightly larger and it does have a piggyback washer and dryer. It's just that there's not many of them. They don't come up for sale very often. Well, I, I guess I could say that there's usually one for sale at any time, but the regime fee is higher. Still two bedrooms, two baths. Now here we are going towards the ocean. We've walked from building three, the indoor building, to building two. Building four is farthest from the beach and it's where the tennis courts are located. Now that structure in the middle there are actually two racquet co racquetball courts with a sun deck on top. The racquetball courts are not maintained, so the structure is really just for the sun deck on top. And then you can see that we have four levels of condominiums here on piers, and the place is actually better than new. The owners here have renovated over the years. You can see that there's a metal mansard roof. You have these low maintenance metal railings which um, really keep your cost down over time. We also have a masonry walkway here replacing the previous 
into our outdoor carpet walkways. Everything is actually better than new. This is actually a painted masonite exterior here. And during the course of the uh, history of this location, uh, uh, all of the windows have been replaced. Uh, much of the siding was replaced. The roofs have been replaced. <laughs> They've resurfaced the tennis courts, uh, the pools, all more than once. When you're near the ocean, folks, it, it takes a while to, uh, you have to stay up with these things. So you have parking all around the buildings on both sides. Your neighbor to the north there are some of the Singleton Beach communities. Uh, homes in the sevens and eights and even up above a million dollars and then on the south side of the resort you have the Palmetto Dunes resort with the Palmetto Dunes golf course and that's the Robert Chen Jones course that goes the tenth goes down to the ocean and then the eleventh doubles back and that uh, tenth hole which is their signature uh, hole actually is immediately next to, immediately next to the uh, what's called Coco's, the Coco's Beach Club, which is the cabana bar here at Hilton Head Resort. Now I'm interested to see if they finish the renovation of the pool here and they have. I was here just a week or so ago and they were in the process of painting the deck down there. During the summertime it's still a little early for swimming during the summertime, this is the pool that gets the most action. And this building one typically sells at a premium because of the pool, the deli, and the proximity to the beach. When you call, I'll be happy to go over the various options that are available to you in your price range at this resort. Again, the price is vary quite a bit. Um, with some of those ocean views, uh, I'm not sure if there's any available today, but they typically, of course, carry the most, the highest price. And, and of course, uh, the view is across the marsh. You'll see in just a moment, I'm going to take you over and show you. The marsh is several hundred yards wide. Overall, I represent this as being about a 10 minute walk to the beach. And the, they also have what they call the trolley, which is a three seater golf cart, electric car that takes you out to the uh, beach and they have a regular schedule on that throughout the year with the most frequency during the summertime. So here's a better look. The deli, preseason, sleepy time. Look at the deli with the awning. They also have the outside bar there in the middle. Restrooms to the left. There's a meeting room to the far left. Now a lot of people buy these for personal second homes. A lot of people buy them and rent them as hard as they can. And uh, one of them I saw recently had a rental gross of 18,700 with a net of 15 using one of the newer companies, which I call a hybrid, meaning you don't turn it over to a company altogether that does your rentals and charges 20 or 25% commission. And you don't do it just yourself on social media. You get over, you give it over to a company that does all that for you, but it's a total of a 10% that they take. That seems to be the big trend, and you save a lot of money that way, and you still get a good performance. So if you want to think in terms of netting about 15000 in a vacation rental program, that's no guarantee, and I'm certainly not telling you what to do with your condo, but I think that it's a fair benchmark to use as a reference, because anytime we get into these types of properties, People always want my help to crunch the numbers on the rental income and how it can do. And of course, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to rent it at all. You can use it just for your personal use. Uh, you can rent it out to vacationers or you can uh, live in it year round as your primary residence. This is the boardwalk to the beach. And you can see that spans the saltwater marsh. And it goes out to that brown building right there, which is where the cabana bar is located. And on the other side of that is a cheery picture uh, with, a, with a porch, I should, guess I should say a porch with an ocean view. And <laughs> it's, a, it's a happy place, I understand. Obviously these properties here to the left are a different animal. Those are oceanfront homes that are in the three million and up range.
that's the village of Singleton Beach. So this saltwater marsh ebbs and flows with the tides. It's beautiful. The views across the marsh and the neighboring golf course are typically your most expensive properties, but a motive for people buying at this location is typically to have a personal getaway place or vacation rental place on Hilton Head Island at a low price and come and rest and relax, enjoy the island, get out, shop, eat, play tennis and golf. You can go to the beach here without crossing the street. Let me give you my contact information, ladies and gentlemen, so that you can reach me about this villa that we saw today just being listed or about any other that you might like to consider for your real estate needs. My name again is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. My company, Go Gated Realty, like gated communities, and I hope I said that they do have a 24-hour manned security gate here at the Hilton Head Resort. And my cell phone number, please call anytime, 843-684-2933. And my email address, rich at gogated.com. That's R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A-T-E-D dot com. Rich at gogated.com. You can go to rich at gogated. Well, excuse me. My website is gogated.com. You can go there at any time and search all these villas here, elsewhere around the island, Bluffton, South Carolina. Of course, you can also search homes and lots. And what I would recommend is that you go there, click on the button that says, tell me about your real estate needs, and I'll call you or email you back. We'll get acquainted. I'll send you a list of all the properties that can meet your needs in the home category, lot category, or villa category. And that list of homes or villas or lots will update automatically. It'll save you a lot of time. And as we work together, I hope that I can save you money and save you time, give you advice that you can trust. I do have 41 years of local Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience, and I am a former licensed South Carolina home builder. So please call, please email, let's get acquainted. Those are not the villas that are for sale, folks, at 1099, nope, that's behind us, the one we've already seen, unit 3306, the low price at the Hilton Head Resort today, 1099, two bedrooms, two bathrooms. I'll be very interested in your thoughts and if that villa could fit into your plans. Well, thank you for watching. If you like the video, there are more at the Go Gated channel on Hilton, uh, Go Gated channel on YouTube. Yes, it is. We are on Hilton Head Island, but the Go Gated channel is on YouTube. Please go there. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I've enjoyed showing you uh, this villa and showing you a little bit around the Hilton Head Resort today. There's our walkway to the beach. They call that the ecological walkway. And that's the one that the trolley goes straight express out there to the cabana bar, Coco's Cabana Bar. Thank you again. I look forward to hearing from you and working with you here on Hilton Head Island to find the property for you. Thank you.